What is up everyone, my name is Finnerdal and in this short yet in-depth video I will be showing you how to complete the D-Machina main easter egg quest with all of the newest shortcuts. This guide works for solo and 3-4 to four players. This video will be broken down into multiple parts with timestamps in the description. Just as a quick FYI, I carry a team of randoms to the easter egg every day on Twitch, so if you're still not able to complete it after this guide, check out my stream and I'll be sure to help you. Links in description. Before you get into the match, I would suggest using the Healing Aura if you have it tier 3. This field upgrade will revive all down players instantly, give everyone full health, stun enemies around players, and regenerate everyone's health for 10 seconds. It's honestly really OP and in my opinion better than the Aether Shroud, even for solo. Although if you don't have it tier 3 yet, probably use the Aether Shroud. Your weapon selection will be dependent on whether or not you've unlocked the Bowie Knife yet. If you have, I would suggest using a shotgun with the Salvage Attachment. Or if you haven't, just equip the standard knife. Alright, now that we have that out of the way, let's get into the setup for the strat. These first few rounds, you're going to want to work up your currency. Make sure you're getting mostly knife kills and headshots for maximum points. On round 10, buy all the doors and activate the pack-a-punch. If you want to get ahead for a later step, shoot this box near the fast travel in the crash plane site and pick up the fuse while in the pack-a-punch dark aether or one of the next couple ones. If you're not sure how to activate the pack-a-punch, the game will tell you exactly what to do under the minimap and where to go on your screen. Once you activate the pack a bunch, you can choose whether or not to do the Coffin Meme Easter Egg, which will grant you a free jug and random weapon, but this is not required. Once you unlock the pack a bunch, one of three Aether portals will spawn on the map. It will either be in the Pond by Quick Revive, the Penthouse on top of Knot, or the Main Power. You will want to enter the portal in order to get the three Aether Scope parts. Each part always spawns in the same place, but the order of which they spawn will be different depending on which portal you entered. One part spawns here in the spawn area slash yard, Another in the crash plane site here, and the last in the particle accelerator room behind the fast travel. Plague Hounds will spawn every time you pick up a part, so if you get them all very quickly, be ready for your frames to drop. For the main power portal, the first part will be in the particle accelerator room. For the pond portal, the first part will be at the crash plane site. For the penthouse portal, the first part will be at the spawn. If you don't manage to get all the parts in one go, just kill some zombies and the portal will spawn in again. Once you grab all the parts, head to the crafting table behind Pack-a-Punch and build the Aether Scope. If you want to get ahead for a later step, you can also take a Hound that spawns from these parts or from a dog round to the Deadshot room. Kill the dog in front of this unit to the right of the Deadshot perk to suck in its toxins. You know you did it right when you can see gas going into the vents and sitting within the glass. After building and picking up the Aether Scope, a portal will automatically spawn in the Speed Coal room. Open the portal and once you enter the Dark Aether, pick up this journal beside the computer. Head right below you to interact with this anomaly twice, once to activate it and once to give the ghost the journal. If you want to hear the dialogue, you can stay and listen or leave and move on. Next, head to the challenge reward room and on the right side you will see an anomaly. Do the same thing as before. The last anomaly will be in front of the Aether Scope crafting table and once again, do the same thing. If you don't manage to get all the ghosts in one go, just kill some zombies and the portal will spawn in again. Once you get all the anomalies and exit the Dark Aether, make sure to come back to the computer and enter the password. Entering the password will allow you to get the Fire and Shock DIE variant. It will also allow you to shoot the levers at the bottom of the container in the Speed Cooler Room for the Restore Power step. Once you finish with the Spectral Anomaly steps, the next thing you need is the DIE. While you can get this from the Mystery Box or the Coffin Meme Box, there is a concrete side quest to get it I will be showing you. Wait until the Megaton spawns in and have him shoot or punch the Mushroom on the side of this tree. The Megaton Splits or Mayak will also work for this step. When it turns purple, you know you did it right. This step is not for the free DIE but will help you get ahead for a later step. Once that is done, kill him and his splits. When the second split dies, he will drop a keycard you can pick up. After that, go to the Deadshot room and interact with this drawer to get a remote. Start training up zombies in the spawn and once you have a big train, head into Notch from the left side. To the right of this door, interact with the machine and it will begin to suck in zombies. Once it has enough, it will tell you it has hit its maximum and open it to reveal the free DIE. We will be getting into the different DIE upgrades nets, but I wanted to give two quick tips beforehand. You can switch the DIE variant without having it out, and you also don't need to stand in front of the upgrade box and wait for it to come out. As long as you interact with the box once, you can run away and it will automatically switch it for you. The first thing you want to do for the ice variant of the DIE is take a Megaton and have him shoot or punch the mushroom on the side of this tree. The Megaton Splits or Mayak will also work for this step. When it turns purple, you know you did it right. Next, using the DIE, shoot the box near the penthouse and knock. Head outside to the pond area and a flask will be sitting outside. Set that flask under the mushroom and wait around 2 minutes. During this time, you can also start working on the other upgrades or just wait for it to finish. 
Once it's filled with blue liquid, pick it up and head to the speed cooler room. Interact with this box once to set down the liquid and a second time to get the upgrade. If you want to get ahead for a later step, you can also shoot this blue lever with the ice variant. The first thing you want to do for the Nova variant of the DIE is use the wonder weapon to suck in this container near the penthouse at the top of Knot. Pick it up and head to the Deadshot room. To the right of Deadshot in this unit, bring a hound into this area. Kill the dog in front of this unit to suck in its toxins. You know you did it right when you can see gas going into the vents and sitting within the glass. This step with the dog toxins can be done earlier in the game, even if you haven't gotten the container yet. Make sure you pick up the filled container and take it to the crash plane site. Head to this box to set down the container. Knife it, then interact with the box to get the Nova upgrade. If you want to get ahead for a later step, you can also head to the speed cooler room and shoot this green lever with the Nova variant. The first thing you want to do for the fire variant of the DIE is go into the dark aether and head to the crash plane site. Shoot this box near the fast travel and pick up the fuse within it. This can be done at any part of your match, as long as you're in the dark aether. Next, you need to make sure you've typed in the password after finishing the spectral anomaly slash diary step. Once the password is typed in, a portal will spawn in the pond beside the truck. Enter the portal and head to Deadshot. Behind the perk, there will be a box you can cut open. Do this, then head back to the truck at Pond. In the bed of the truck, there will be a box you can interact with to unlock the fire upgrade. If you want to get ahead for a later step, you can also head to the speed cooler room and shoot this red lever with the fire variant. The first thing you want to do for the shock variant of the DIE is ensure you've typed in the password after finishing the spectral anomaly slash diary step. Once the password is typed in, a portal will spawn under the pack punch to the left of the barricade. To the right of this portal is the box you will be shooting at for this upgrade, so take note of its location. There are three crystals around the map you must suck in and then shoot out at that box while in the dark aether. Once you suck in a crystal, the next time you shoot, it will let it out. So if you need to kill zombies, take out your other weapon to do it. Unfortunately, you must suck in each crystal separately, so you have to do them one at a time. There's a crystal located in Notch near Stamina, another at the Crash Plane site near Jug, and finally the last one is at the Pond near the Mystery Box location. If you use stamina for the fast travels, you should be able to complete this in one go. Although if you don't manage to finish all three crystals in time, just kill some zombies and the portal will spawn in again. Once you suck in and shoot out the last crystal, interact with this box to unlock the shock upgrade. There are some additional tips I'd like to give about getting this upgrade. As long as you suck in the crystal while in the dark aether, you can shoot it out in the real world. You can use any DIE variant to suck in and shoot out the crystal. However, if you decide to use the ice DIE for this step, Make sure you shoot the ice beam longer to ensure the crystal is deposited. Lastly, you are able to switch your DIE variant or put it away while holding the crystal and you still won't lose it. Once you go to shoot it out at the box, it will surprisingly still work. If you want to get ahead for a later step, you can also head to the speed cooler room and shoot this yellow lever with the shock variant. Next, we're moving on to the restoring power step. Within the speed cooler room, there is a container with four legs hanging below it. Using each DIE variant, you must shoot the color associated leg, blue with ice, green with nova, red with fire, and yellow with shock. You will know you did it right when the associated leg flips up. However, you will likely already have this step done as I told you to do it earlier in the video. Once you shoot the last leg, a portal will spawn in the hallway near the armor station. Enter it and walk to this ledge in the speed cooler room. Interact with the spectral anomaly and once the ghosts are finished talking, pick up this wrench. Next, head to the spawn and interact with this tank three times. Kill the zombie at the top and throw an explosive anywhere on the tank. Now, head to the crash plane site and you will find a golden ball. Pick it up and take it to the speed core room. You can take any route you wish, but I find going through the tunnel the best. Finally, place it in its unit where the ghosts were talking. Now you must wait until a megaton spawns. When it does, take it to the speed core room and split it. Your goal is to lure the splits under the container in order to suck them up inside of it. Be sure to use the same two splits from the same megaton or the game will say they are incompatible. Once both splits are sucked up, Head into the small hallway with the computer and interact with it to start a mini cutscene. If you're playing with other people, every player must be in the room to activate this computer. Once Orlov is done talking, he will run away and the doors will open. Make sure you leave straight away, as many enemies spawn in this room. Now head to Nott and there will be a portal in the living room section. Enter it and go to the Omega Outpost room in Nott. Beside the pistol wall by, interact with the ghost. Once the ghost is done talking, you will be brought back to the normal world and there will be a picture sitting on the table. Once you pick up this picture, the boss fight will start, so make sure you have everything you need. I would suggest taking the Shock DIE, a pack punch shotgun, Self Revive, Full Armor, and at least Juggernog, Stamina Up, and Quick Revive. Monkeys or decoys will also help. The boss fight is honestly really easy and nothing to worry about. You are restricted to the Particle Accelerator Room and have access to an ammo box, pack a punch, and the armor station. 
There are three waves where you must protect Orlov from enemies while he moves around the room destroying the facility. Your top priority in this fight is survival, as Orlov literally can't die. The only way you lose this fight is if everyone on your team dies. You still want to protect Orlov though, as when he's being attacked he can't progress in destroying the machine, resulting in the boss fight taking longer. I would suggest choosing one player with the shock or fire DIE to specifically kill Mayak in the splits as fast as possible. The amount of mini bosses you have per wave is dependent on how fast you kill Mayak. This is because the split spawn off of Mayak, so if you're able to find and kill him quick, you will have no more additional mini bosses for the rest of that wave. Mayak tends to spawn at the bottom level, but could also spawn at the middle and top level, so make sure to communicate when you see him. You also don't have to worry about losing Wonder Weapon ammo, as the splits drop ammo for you. The rest of the team should focus on surviving and protecting Orlov. If you're on solo, take out Mayak and the splits, then start protecting Orlov. Once Orlov is done with all three waves, the zombies will despawn and your screen will flash white. Finally, the last step of the easter egg is to successfully make it to the exfil site. There will be blue electrical barriers coming out of the ground that you won't want to touch as it will heavily damage you. Head to the deadshot door and once the purple force field disappears, take this route shown in the gameplay. Slide under this bomb and take the stairs in front of you to the challenge reward area. Now head to the tunnel and take a right. Once in the crash plane site, go around this tree heading into the pond. Now just survive the last few zombies and interact with the chopper when it becomes available. Once that is done, you have successfully completed the D-Machina Easter Egg. As an ending side note, I'm still figuring out this editing stuff, so these videos take me a long time to make. I would really appreciate a like, comment, subscription, maybe even turn on that notification bell if you're feeling up to it. I also stream and carry a team of randoms to the Easter Egg every day. I recently added a Q command to ensure everyone that watches the stream that hasn't done the Easter Egg yet will get it done. I plan on going for a world record soon as well, so if any of that interests you, make sure to follow me on Twitch. I also have a Twitter, Instagram, and sadly a TikTok. Links in description. Other than that, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.